so good to have you with us today. Now, do you like to put collections out on display? Whether it's books, bottles, or bags, they're going to have more impact if you group them together. So here with some tips on how to do it right, designer Brian Gluckstein. Hello, Brian. Hello. How are you? How are you? They have a great today. Oh my gosh, they're so fabulous and they look so good. They do, they do. You know what, I think if we were to take a look at their living rooms, we might find that they have a lot going on in their shelves. I know I do, I know my parents do, and sometimes it's about editing. Yes. And and putting collections together that work Correct. together. So, so it, it doesn't just look like a mess. It's a mishmash, exactly. Right? Yes, so we want to... We want to assemble like pieces. Yes. So instead of looking like a disaster of leftovers, yeah. we want it to look like, you know, a collection. So it's not like every single vacation you've been to, every single wedding you've been Correct. to, every you've mixed got chuchka. every single every little thing <laughs> out there, right? You gotta put some away. <laughs> so you've done this so incredibly here. Like this is a beautiful display. Thank These are you. antique cameras. They are. Oh, so I what love I love that. Isn't that great? And what I did was I used these simple IKEA shows. Shelves. Yes. And the key to the IKEA shelves is painting them the color of the wall so they don't look like shelves off the shelf. That's right. But they look like it's custom and really it sort of disappears onto the whole thing. Yeah. But um, so I love antique cameras and, and mm. on my Instagram, which I'm now on Instagram, doing Instagram. Guys, he's on Instagram! Yeah. He's on Instagram! Exactly. Follow so, Brian. Yes. Beautiful pictures. So, yeah, so my Brian Gluckstein, I've shown some of these things, and, and there's been a great response to how people should edit them. So yeah. the idea is to, if you collect figurines, if you collect baskets, if you collect cameras, if you collect anything, just edit it down to those items. That's right. And and I like mixing it with the books. Me too. Um, but it becomes sort of this curated, you know, very, I think, more meaningful collection. It's more meaningful, and I think a lot of us think, well, I want to have all of the things out there because I like all of the things, but you don't really get to enjoy any of them no. if they're all out. So would, just put a few key out and really enjoy them. It would be like wearing your whole wardrobe at the same at time. Once. It doesn't really work. You look so nuts. you have to edit it down. Right. Okay, so here's another example. We've got a picture of this. Um, and these are antique toasters. I remember these. This is so cool. Do you remember cool. these? I remember these. these. So that is a beautiful way yes. to display them, uh, Brian. So, I love what those a great old idea. toasters. So, uh, and it's a real trend to collect the old cameras, old appliances, yes. things like that. And that adds some soulfulness to your kitchen. It does. So it's fun to mix up old appliances in the kitchen and put them on open shelves. We're yeah. doing a lot more kitchens with open shelving. I know. So you can which is mix scary to me. Well, you have to be neat. Oh my gosh. You have to be. You're yeah. a neat person. No, I'm neat, but then it would have to be like so neat all the time. I think I would drive myself crazy. Well, I, I can handle the open shelves. It's yeah. the glass front of fridges. Oh, forget I, it. I'm out. Of it. Curating yeah. your food. I'm out. It's like, Can't you have do to it. put everything in nice containers. I haven't got yeah. there yet. No, and I don't want people to see that I'm eating processed cheese. No. <laughs> so no one cheese. needs to know that but me. No. Okay, so here's another picture of a beautiful way of doing um, a collection. And this is shells, uh, but they're in a fireplace. Yes, because nice. you, you know, your fireplace, you may not be using it in the summertime. Yeah. Um, or it might be a place down south where it's warm yes. and you're not using it often so I love putting shells they can be artificial shells coral anything like that beautiful and stuff that you've collected um, speaking of collectibles isn't yes. this beautiful when you can go away on vacation and bring back a piece um, and put it somewhere where it has some prominence in your home yes so collections again collections. this is from a company called snob and they bring a lot of great crafts they're, I know. Snobby. they're so snobby and they're not really they're really <laughs> actually very nice people um this is from l and eve the camera so i just want you to know about this but snob okay. is not snobby okay and she brings back she's south african and she brings back all these incredible handcrafted things from um from south africa Beautiful. so i love the idea of the baskets so you can collect baskets when you travel um or pour porcelain or wood carp but yep. here it's sort of like-minded again we've got the porcelain we've got the wood we've got the baskets but they relate to each other there's a handcrafted feel to it yes. there's a color that connects them together mm -hmm. again so it doesn't look like a mess but um, I just love, nice. I love that and you know in the in the in the 
time where everything is mass produced and manufactured and everyone has the same stuff mm -hmm. it's nice to get handcrafted items I think so and like you say it adds a major personality into your space and that's what you're looking for and quite reasonable quite and reasonable. reasonable well that's a good thing yes. this is nice as well so this is I think functional and um, a collection out on the coffee table you've got these gorgeous uh, boxes. decorative boxes and some of them look like antique they are some of them are yeah. antique so this is from Aruba Hagen Azevedo and they carry all these beautiful Beautiful antique. So this one is an antique silver box. Wow. And then some of them are newer. But what I love to do is I like to use the boxes for remote control, yeah. coasters, junk. Junk, yeah. Yeah, like put <laughs> seriously, like the over. Uno cards, the kids' yeah. Uno cards. That's, that's what you'd find in there. You can't find a pen. Jacks, your glasses. Little balls. Yeah. All that Lego, all that stuff. And I, you know, I always have a box like this. I shouldn't give it away, but I have a box like this at the front door because I put the keys in there. Right. So you're not like, where, where are they? Where They're are always keys? in the box. So exactly. So here, a variety of, of boxes. You've got a little bit of the blue and the cream, the blue mm -hmm. green here, the cream here, the silver, and then just books because I, I love art books and yeah, I love very design nice. books. So I'm always looking at them. Yes, and you're in one of those design books, which I, I think is pretty awesome. I am. Um, <laughs> another picture, though. This is another beautiful coffee table that's been done yes. really nice with that collection and the crystal boxes which is I really love, nice. I love the crystal boxes and I love the chinoiserie boxes. Again mm -hmm. it's about you know what interests you and yeah. what period so if you if you're modern if you like Victorian things if you like French things bring them in the accessories you don't have yes. to buy furniture of the period but you can bring accessories Get something smaller and that makes again the space more soulful you want to bring in things from other periods everything yeah. shouldn't be new brand new just bought today we're moving away from that we are you know and I'm Mix glad we are